Shalom. Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Sha, and double honor to the apostles and the others that rule well. And peace and blessings to brothers out there that speak his word, sincerity, and truth. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and dive right, right into it. Um, I have an article pulled up about the Trump, uh, Trump uh, uh, recognizing uh, uh, Jerusalem as Israel's capital, and he wanted to move the the uh, embassy to uh, the capital. Well, uh, Jerusalem. So you had people that uh that these countries vote against it, and uh, you know this is a a, a big thing because this would have if if it would have uh, been passed, it would have been a a breach in the uh, peace deal that uh, uh Israel and Palestine have. You know, and if uh brothers don't know, uh, actually the uh the elder. Uh, Ariala and Yashirama did a sit down on this. Um, I would say a couple months ago, and really broke down on uh the uh the situation that's going on in Israel, man. Basically, uh, after 1947, uh, you had a peace deal that was made with uh Israel in uh, Palest uh Palestine. Well. Those uh that resolution to basically um uh separate the land you know was really has really been broken throughout the years man several res resolutions have been have broken peace treaties have been bro uh broken uh, a huge one was in uh was with the uh the the, the six day war in which um the uh, uh Israel Israel was fake Jews. Uh, took over the West Bank, and you had people, uh, fake, uh, the other fake, uh, uh, fake Jews, uh, moving into that area, man, and also pushing those Palestinians out. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying all this just to say that this is a clear, uh, this is clear proof that, you know, there's people over there, in our land, on Israelites, and Khazars. Why is that? Because of prophecy, man. You know, so. What we're going to do is we're going to read some of this and we're going to jump to the scriptures, man, you know, and prove that they're not Israelites, man. Because when Israelites uh, uh, go back uh, to that land, when Yahashua returns and, and set them back in that land, it's supposed to be peace on planet Earth. Not only for Israel, but for the other nations, man. You see what I'm saying? So this is the Guardian, uh, Guardian UN uh, votes resoundingly to reject Trump's recognition of Jerusalem. At, uh, at, of Jerusalem as capital, the 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 United Nations Gen General Assembly has delivered a stingingly rebuke to Donald Trump, voting by a huge majority to reject his unilateral recognition of Jerusalem, or Jer Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The vote came after a re uh, redoubling of Threats by Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., who said that uh, Washington would remember uh, which uh, countries disrespected America by voting against it. Des despite the warning, 128 members voted on Thursday in favor of the resolution supporting the long-standing international consensus that the status of Jerusalem, which is claimed as a capital by both Israel and the Palestinians can only be settled as an agreed uh, final issue in a peace deal. Uh, countries which voted in the resolution included major recipients of U.S. aid such as uh, Egypt, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Although uh, largely symbolic, the vote in uh, emergency session of the world of body had been the focus of days of furious diplomacy by both the Trump administration in Israel, including Trump's uh, threat to cut uh, U.S. funding to countries that did not back the U.S. recognition. They talk, hey, the U.S. is talking big, big, big cash, man. Uh, you know, I'm talking about cutting off the uh, uh, the funding of these countries that don't back them. You know. You know, they they clearly showing you what that uh, uh 
that if you don't lay down to the, to to what they perceive is right, you know what I'm saying? Guess what? You're gonna be cut off, man. You see? But but only nine states, including the United States and Israel, voted against the resolution. The other countries which supported Washington were Togo, uh, Mark Marconesia, uh, Nauru, Paiu, uh, Marsh. Marshall Islands, Guatemala, and Honduras. And uh, yeah, let's play this. Let's see what this chick said. She was talking cash. I was, I was surprised that she said that. To be honest with you, the United States will remember this day, in which it was singled out for attack in the General Assembly for the very act of exercising our right as a sovereign nation. We will remember it when we are called upon to once again make the world's largest contribution to the United Nations. And we will remember when so many countries come calling on us, as they so often do, to pay even more and to use our influence for their benefit. America will put our embassy in Jerusalem. That is what the American people want us to do. And it is the right thing to do. No vote in the United Nations will make any difference on that. But this vote will make a difference on how Americans look at the UN and on how we look at countries who disrespect us in the UN. And this vote will be remembered. Thank you. Yeah, so she's talking cash, man. It says 22 of the 28 UN countries voted for the resolution, including the UK and France. Uh, Germany, which in the past have abstained on measures related to Israel, has voted in the favor. Uh, 35 countries abstained, including five UN states, uh, so like the EU states, and uh, other uh, US allies, including Australia, Canada, Colombia, and Mexico. Ambassadors from several uh, abstaining countries, including Mexico, use their time on the podium to criticize Trump's uh, you uh, un un unlateral uh, move. Another twenty five delegations uh, were absent from the vote, suggesting uh, suggesting the Trump's uh, warning of funding cuts and Israel's lobbying may have had some effect. Uh, so it's just going into, you know, really is showing you how, um, America is just being a, a bully, man, but these other countries, what did they do? You know, um, uh, they wouldn't worry about what, what, uh, Trump had to say. Now you had 35 countries that abstained from voting, you know, uh, because, you know, they back, they, they get, a uh, uh, aid from America, but you had 120 that voted for uh the resolution man you know and and all this is, is, is because uh well all this stems 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 stem back to what well you had those people over there that aren't israelites you know that are in that land that's causing all this strife man you see what i'm saying let's get to the scripts now this is Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of, of Israel shall possess them in the land of, of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captive captives who captives they were and they shall rule over the their oppressors that's right and the, uh, it shall come to pass in that day that the lord shall give the rest from thy soul and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve that's right so uh the most high is, is the most high is supposed to put the uh the the uh, children of Israel back into that land, man. Not uh, baffled agreement and everything like that. When they and when they're supposed to get into the land, guess what? They, you know, 
they 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 are supposed to be, uh, possess the the cat uh, the 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 uh, the uh, uh, possess, uh what's the word we're looking for the oppressors man you see what I'm saying the people who are oppress the nation of Israel man they they they're supposed to be in captivity and those people are still roaming today which are the Edomites man they're not free I mean uh we're not free you know we're still relegated to the hood man you see what I'm saying. And chiefly what? Man, you still have uh, a war on the planet Earth. You see? Let's keep going. Back in verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest for thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou, thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, which is America, you know, just talking about the future Babylon. This ain't talking about uh, uh, ancient Israel, man. You see? Because Isaiah was in the time of the Assyrian captivity. You see what I'm saying? You see? That was before the Babylonian uh, uh, captivity. You see? In which uh, the prophet Jeremiah was in. You see? And also, we know this, this is talking about that great Babylon, which is, again, is America, because it's talking, because at, at the beginning, it, it said, uh, it was talking about the, uh, the the last days, man. You see? We know it's talking about the last days, because, it's, again, it's holy hell on earth, man. These nations are rising up again. But let's keep on reading so I can prove that point. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest for thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou hast made to serve. Then thou shalt take up this parable, this proverb, so like against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord uh, Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked in the scepter, 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 of the rulers, he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. And again, that's who is that? Who is that? that is, that's America, man. We just uh, watched a clip of how America uh, was threatening the uh, uh, the people or the countries that didn't uh, vote. Uh, uh, against the resolution, you see, who, who didn't vote for uh, Jerusalem uh, to be Israel's capital, they voted to, to cut them off uh, uh, with uh, U.S. Uh, uh, by U.S. trade, man. You see what I'm saying? So, so that oppression, it hasn't been destroyed yet, man. You see what I'm saying? Verse seven. It's the point. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fig tree rejoice at the, at the, and these uh, cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellow is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved from thee to meet thee at the, uh, thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the, the kings of the nations. That's right. That's right. So that king of Babylon is, is to be destroyed, man. But see, let's focus in on, on verse 7. It says, The whole earth is at rest, and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Verse 8, Yea, the fig trees rejoice in thee, at thee in the cedars of the Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellow uh, fella is come up against us. That's right. So with the uh with the destruction of the king of Babylon, man, there's supposed to be peace on the earth, man. And the, the, the people of Israel are supposed to um be uh, brought back to the, the that land of Israel, man. You see? Not only are, are, are they going to be brought back, but the, the, the nations are going to flow to them, you know what I'm saying, uh, for their knowledge, 
and their understanding, man, and their laws, man. Let's get that. This is Michael 4 and 1, but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of, of Yahweh shall be established, established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it, and many nations shall come. And say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of 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 Yahweh, and the house of the of of the God of Jacob, and He will teach us us of His ways, and we will walk in His paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of of Yahweh from Jerusalem. So when the the, the people of, of God. The nation of Israel, Yahshua, returns back into their land. The people are supposed to come and, and receive the knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father via the nation of Israel. We don't see that here uh, taking place, man. What, what do we see? We see war. We see the uh, 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 nations beating their plowshares into swords, man, get, gearing up for Armageddon, man. The total opposite of peace. You see? Verse 3. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations and far off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not fit up a, a lift like nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. This, it's supposed to be peace forever when we are placed back into our land, man. Not these uh, uh, peace deals, you know what I'm saying, that are constantly broken by <laughs> by us, <laughs> the Israelites. You see? No, no, no. It's supposed to be post, uh, uh, peace on, on planet Earth, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, the, the nations aren't, aren't going to learn war, you see? Again, this is this proved by this is proved this proves by by prophecy, man. That those people over there aren't the Israelites, man. Verse four, but they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. It's a hey, the nations are supposed to get their own land. They're supposed to get uh, uh, get their land back, man. What, what do you see going on now? We see, uh, or well, in Israel, Israel, man, you see the, the landmarks being removed, man. You see those people over there being displaced, man. You see what I'm saying? That's not supposed to happen according to prophecy. Every every person, every nation is supposed to have their own land. And they're supposed to live, you know what I'm saying, harmoniously. Supposed to be a whole bunch of chilling going on, man. And none shall make them afraid for the mouth of the Lord of, of Yahweh. Of hosts have spoken it, for all people will walk every one in the name of the, his God, and he will walk in the name of Yahweh, our power forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Come on, man. In that day, saith that the Lord will I assemble her that halters, and I will gather her that is really that was that was the point right there. We don't have to keep going. Uh, let's get another script. And we'll close it out. This is Isaiah 9. I started five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But but this shall be with burning and fear of fire. Going to those missiles. For unto us a child is born. Unto, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be on his shoulder. Hey, this is prophecy in the Old Testament, man. Now you got those those fake Jews over there that say they don't believe in the New Testament. You know, well, this is the Old Testament, man, going into how uh, a child is born, and, and and unto him is given a uh, given a government. Now we know that to be who you have a shot. You see what I'm saying? And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of His government and peace, there shall be no end. So when Yahweh shall return and set up His government, 
that's a be that's 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 supposed to be total peace on the earth. You see what I'm saying? And his and upon his kingdom, he ordered to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from his for from his force even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. <laughs> so a hey, the zeal of Yahweh will will, will, will will perform this. Yahweh Shai uh uh hasn't returned yet with his uh, uh in his glory, man, with his chariots, man. You see? So we know these people over there can't be the real Israelites. You see what I'm saying? You see? So the you know the point was made. I just wanted to bring that out quick, you know, real quick. Those people over there, you know, they're they're imposters, man, you know, and they, they got all the blessings that they uh received carnally, man, you know, by or warring with other nations, you know what I'm saying, breaching contracts. Lying on uh 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 these different na uh, uh nations, you see what I'm saying. But when our savior comes, man, you know it's gonna be known who 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 uh, uh who's a uh, who's gonna be the prince of the earth, man, because he's gonna come back in glory with his chariots, man. He's gonna uh, conquer this world. You see what I'm saying? So I praise to you, how about Shem Hel Shad, the honors to the apostles and the others that we well and peace and blessing to you, buds out there that's kicking the word. Sincerity and truth, Shalom.